OK, Latasha, let's go, please. Thank you. Tasha. I can't wait for my veal to kick his ass. Today, I've prepared a pan-seared veal chop accompanied by a pear, fig, and toasted walnut couscous and braised chard. The dish has flavor. The herbs really come through from where you base it. The bite that I just had was seasoned really well. Just needs a touch of acidity. Just lift yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Tasha. Oh, please. Wow. Latasha's veal puts the women ahead by one point. The lamb, please. Let's go. And the men are hoping Steve's rack of lamb with pea and mint risotto can make up the difference. I didn't think it was half that bad. Need some salt. But he gets a mediocre response. I'm going to go. Three stars. Yeah? Not bad. While Sade's spiced lamb with blackberry reduction and pureed corn I like the accompaniments with it. It's got that fragrance to it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Corn, sweet. Adds to the women's lead. Three. Good job. Good job, Heather. Going into the final round, the men are two points behind. It's the last protein. Sterling, let's go. And they're counting on Sterling's grilled pork chop. How you doing, gentlemen? How you nice doing? Nice to meet you. One hundred. <laughs> and Southern doing? Charm to score big. Man, I am sweating bullets to the fullest. I'm talking about AK-47, AR-15 bullets, y'all. I done prepared for y'all a grilled chop, and I glazed it with a honey chipotle glaze. The grits are great. Nice and creamy. You cook them with milk? No, with a lot of love. Oh, nice. I thought it could use a lot of salt. Salt really, really bring out all the flavors that you put in. Appreciate it. And all that love that you put in there. Just needs to be refined more. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank Good you. job. Thank you. If Sterling loses this for the team, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Sterling's pork has earned only nine stars. It's 28 to 21. Next one, Ro, let's go. Let's go, Ro. And now Ro needs just eight stars to win it for the women. Already off the bat, I feel that I have him beat by a mile. Today I've prepared a bone-in grilled pork chop. It sits over a Brussels leaf ash. Presentation looks nice. The chop itself, you can see it's a little yeah. bit moister. Interesting. Vinny, how was that? Um, you're going to hate me for saying this, but I thought it was kind of boring. The honey with it was actually too sweet with the apple. Are you kidding me? It looks nice, but it doesn't fucking taste good. The dish is confusing because this garnish mm. should be with a completely different dish. It's all kind of just confused a little bit. Thank you. You see the dish you dropped, please, Jennifer? I think Jennifer's pork dish is flat. In my heart of hearts, I really liked what I put on that plate. I just caramelized my uh, pork chop, and then I did, for a little bit of texture, uh, apple, fennel, red onion, slaw. Brittany, how's that for you? Better than the other dish. Thank you, chef. Wow. After eating that one, it makes me actually think less of the other one. Yeah. I knew it. I'm so fucking mad. Uh, Vinny. What's your score for Rose Dish? Out of five, please. One. Two. Man, congratulations. 